There will be limited <clears throat> touching of, on the video. Well, we don't. We don't that's know. not a, a guarantee. It's a guarantee. There will be touching. Greetings, Earthlings and Frag Commies. My name is Luke. I am Poe. This is my boy, Phil. He Hi. Is not Poe. Uh, but he, he was my best man. He's been my best friend since I was like 10. So, uh, you know, this guy has a lot of dirt on me. I mean, go ahead and, and share your favorite interesting story about me, Phil. Well... That's enough time for today. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the seven best blue fragrances according to Felipe. If, if, if you're not as cultured as I am, that means Philip in Spanish. We have seven blue fragrances that we've sprayed already on test strips. So Philip will be giving the one to five rating on the dry down and then at the end of the video he'll be rating the the opening in a very special way that a way that he isn't even familiar with right now that uh he's getting nervous right now i can actually feel his blood pressure rising because he is now committed to doing this video and not knowing how it's going to end i don't even know how i got here to be honest the first fragrance on this list is scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Don't do that. No, they don't like it when you they don't. don't. Okay. I so this one is. Well, we'll see what 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 Phil thinks about it. How about? Four out of five. You what? Well, you gotta tell them like what you like or dislike about it. I don't know. Does it smell fresh? It smells fresh. Does it smell sexy? That's a no. That's a no. That's Fresh, a no. not sexy. Four out of five. Three out of five. Whoa! It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. Like, more, more. It permeates the. Okay. Zones. Don't use big words for my viewers. <laughs> How does it compare with the first one you smelled? I would rate this one a three out of five. Also. Okay. You can use decimals if you'd like. We have calculators. No pressure. It's a well. It's a little pressure. Let's see what old Philip Crank has to say about it. I like it. You four, like it. Four out of five. Four out of five. What do you like about it compared to the others? What's standing out to you? It smells lighter. Lighter. Like, not as heavy. Okay. So the heavier scents you're not as much mm -hmm. of a fan of. Does it still smell fresh? Or does it still does it smell like more like sexy? What kind of vibe do you get from it? I'd say sexy. Whoa! This next one is a fragrance that came out within the past couple of years. It is a flanker to a very well-known fragrance. A bluer version of that fragrance. Reminds me of apples. There is some sweetness in that one. I'd give this a four. I like a this four. One. Mm -hmm. This next one is uh, a, a fragrance that uh, saved the world. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll put the card up above my head or Phil's head, whichever. It was a very memorable day. Don't patronize me. <laughs> uh, you didn't even watch that video. I'm not sure if it's a video. It is a video. There's there's fragrances for the end of the world, and this one saved it all. I would say something about this, and it's probably going to offend somebody. Let's say it. Let's hear it. It smells like like a urinal cake. Okay, all right. Let's turn the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of five. Two out of five! Oh! Hmm. He's not a fan. He's going against the grain. Three point five. Three point five. What didn't you like about that one? I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Hmm. You need to trim those nose hairs, bud. Is that get, is it getting in the way? No. I mean, no. well, it's distracting well, me. It's sexually. distracting me sexually too. Okay. Three point five. Three point five. Same as the last one. Kind of. Not my favorite. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some math and and get back to you guys with the winner. Coming in at third place is a fragrance like that that, uh, that I said uh, before. It's polarizing, not everyone likes it. It is Dior Sauvage 
Other toilet. This one has Ambroxan for days. It, it seems like it is metallic. It is peppery. It is fresh. The the marketing for this one is is modern freshness. I can kind of see where we're going with that one, um, but it's definitely not for everyone. Very polarizing scent. Beast mode projection and longevity on this one, if that's your thing. Next one coming in at second place is a fragrance that is a flanker of a very beloved line, the Dolce & Gabbana light blue line, but this is Swimming in La Party. You see? La Party. La Party. That Mario. La Party. La Party. Mario? I don't know. Okay. This is a fragrance that is does all the same things that an Aqua Atlantique from Bulgari does, but it does it better. It's, it's not as quite as loud or, or in your face or as brash. It's a lot better blended. This one has been one of my go-tos for the summertime. Dolce & Gabbana light blue swimming in the party. Mario. That's not even That's... close to what I said. And Philip's winner. The it, bottle. You're sensitive about the bottle. I'm sensitive about the bottle. I, I, think, I didn't know. I think you need to embrace it. <laughs> it is. Jean-Paul Gaultier in the Navy. This is that Jean-Paul Gaultier DNA, but it's got some Abroxin, it's got some of that blue characteristic sticks, and this is a, a really fun one to wear in the summer. It's still got that sweetness, that freshness, and um, you know, my buddy Phil here uh, does have a bit of a sugar addiction, so I can kind of see why it's true. this would happen. What Phil doesn't know is he's only smelled the dry downs. To these fragrances and now he's about to smell wait what's a dry down the dry down is, is after the fragrance is dried down there's the opening when you first spray it and then there's the dry down once it kind of settles so we're going to spray each one of these seven colognes or fragrances on fill at the same time we are this is this is called the big squirt challenge <laughs> i've been tagged <laughs> i don't think you've been tagged I've been tagged a couple times, more than once. I've been double tagged. I haven't been tagged. No, but I don't want to smell like seven fragrances at once. I don't either. But you're going camping tonight. I am. So, you're gonna smell like seven different fragrances at once. First one, we you know we might as well go with your favorite, uh, Mr. Bulge, John Paul Gaultier in the Navy. Oh yeah, that felt nice. And then uh, Mr. Urinal Cakes, Jeremy Lin for him. $10 at Fragrance Buy, uh, you know, great fragrance. Give you a little spray on the little teat right there. Uh, Versace Pour Homme, a legendary blue fragrance. Fresh, highly versatile, a bit reminiscent of a Chanel Allure Arm Sports, but not quite as heavy or as cloying. Got you there. And uh, possibly better than its original, Aqua Di Gio. Aqua di Gio Profundo. This one has Ambroxan. It has a little, little, little bit more citrus off the top. This is a more modernized version. I think that was number seven, guys. That wasn't, but that was that was kind of a weak spray. I think I need to get you again. Okay, don't flinch don't on camera. Flinch. It's embarrassing. This He's is... single, by the way, so you know, ignore the flinches. He's really a manly man's man. You kind of embarrass man. me on national television. This we have like four viewers. <laughs> Blue Day Chanel. The Swiss Army Knife of fragrances can wear this uh, dressed up, dressed down. Everyone's gonna like it. Everyone's gonna like it. So I might, I might give that when you get <laughs> your, your good night kiss tonight. You can get, you can get that one on the, on the cheek. Uh, and then Dolce and Gabbana, La Blue, swimming in the party, a spaghetti, a cha cha cha. Those <laughs> two. <laughs> and the Mac Daddy of them all. This one. It's on my tongue. That's what she said. What this she said. is. <laughs> Savage by Dior. I'm only gonna do a small spray because this one is quite beast mode and poor Phil already has six different fragrances on him at in me. once. In, in me. Well, that's sexual. You know, we, this, this is a family friendly channel. It's in me. That was right up the nose. That is going to wrap us up for today, Frag Commies. If you like this sort of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give it the old thumbs up. Uh, hit, give a comment down below. Ladies, if you're single, hit up Philip, right? Uh, I, I, that's that's what you wanted, right, Phil? That's, that's, why, what I that's why you did the video. That's why I did the video. Okay. Well, I did it for the seven. Which which opening did you did you like better out of all the sprays? I don't remember. 
It, just, it was it was a blur. It, was a blur. it happened way it too happened fast. Really fast. I'll explain it to oh, you when you're explain older. Explain it to me when I'm older.